list of the parts needed can be found on the Rubber Band Racer Build Guide found on teachergeek.com under Documents. For this kit you will need a Teacher Geek Multi Cutter, a Teacher Geek Reamer, the number 2 screwdriver and pliers are optional. Components and free documents for this activity are available at teachergeek.com. The Teacher Geek construction system allows you to build almost any mechanism you can imagine using two simple tools. The dowels and connector strips can be easily cut to size using our Teacher Geek Multi Cutter. But don't use the Multi Cutter to cut metal because you'll ruin the blade. Most of our Teacher Geek components come with holes that dowels just press into. Just twist the reamer back and forth to ream out a hole. Reaming out a hole will make it so it no longer holds a dowel. So don't ream out holes you want dowels to stay pressed into. Only ream out holes you want dowels to slide or rotate in. Your first step is to cut a dowel to 100 millimeters, which is about 4 inches. You will also need to cut 3 more dowels to 4 inches. Use the same dowel to cut the other 3 sections of dowel. With a hole plate set on the table, take one of your cut dowels and place it into a corner hole. If it's a little tough to just push in, use the easy cutters to tap it in. Then go ahead and take the other 3 dowels and put them into the other 3 corner holes of your hole plate. Now go ahead and take your other hole plate and set it on top. You can use the easy cutters to tap it onto the dowels. Cut two dowels to 125 millimeters, which is about five inches. Take both of your cut dowels and place them into wheels. When it's a little tough to just push in, you can always use the easy cutter to hit it in. Now take your wheels with the dowels and place them into the hole plate where you think they will function the best. You will be able to move the wheels later if you don't think they're in the right position. Now take another wheel and place it onto the other side of your dowel. And do the same for the other wheel. To add traction, you can place the rubber band tires onto your wheels. Take your rubber band and place it onto the top dowel across from your drive wheels. Your drive wheels will be the ones with the rubber bands on them. Place the stop clip on the wheel axle with the stretch tires. Snap the stop clip in by pushing downwards on it. The stop clip may slip when being pulled by the rubber band, so just place a drop of glue on it to hold it in place. Now that you're done, wind it up and let it go. Now that you've built a basic racer, it's time to re-engineer it. Try more rubber bands, routing the rubber bands, modifying the frame. You could even use levers or gears. Try to improve the performance so you can complete the extreme challenges. Let's see what you can do.